Junkyard Junkie back here with another video. Today we got a pretty big job ahead of us. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing this convertible top. So remember, if I can do it, you can do it, and just follow along. Okay, so there is something you wanna do before we actually get started, and that is to test your convertible top. You wanna to go ahead and lower it all the way and raise it up all the way, just to make sure it's working properly. You don't wanna do this job if your convertible top isn't doing like it's supposed to. If you're wondering why I'm replacing mine, as you can see here, I mean, it's completely separated. You can actually lift the glass up it's not good. So let's get to it. Also, one more thing before you get started, go ahead and check your new replacement top. Make sure there's no tears or cuts or rips or the glasses coming out. You wanna make sure that you have a good replacement top. That way you don't have to wind up sending it back halfway through this and have to wait. Okay, so these are T20s. You wanna take these out and all of these right here. This is gonna be hard for me to film but it's as simple as just undoing them and taking them out and keeping up with them. So looking at the passenger side, this is what we get. Let's get back here and we're gonna take this out. Just pry it out, be very careful. You don't wanna break it. As easy as you go. There we go. And this, this whole piece right here will just come right off. Keep up with these. Make sure that you don't put this on the wrong side. Now we're just gonna do the exact same thing over here. Should just come right out just like that. Just wiggle it loose. Don't tear it. Go ahead and put that down on the seat. Now that exposes these two. We're gonna go ahead and pry this loose. And it fell right down. Okay, so if we look right here, we have one of our rivets right there. We're gonna have to drill out or knock out with a punch. Okay, so we're just gonna take these two out. Don't wanna lose it. Go ahead and do the same thing to this one. Okay, so we'll do the same thing over here on this side. Okay, so next we wanna take this little rubber piece off right here. Don't tear it. Comes right out. Now that exposes all of these right here. Whoever did this last didn't put that bolt in down there. So we'll start with these up here. So instead of a T20, we're going to use a T30. It's a little hard to get in there. Okay, down here, it looks like another T30. Okay. And then that looks like a T20, but we'll double check. Now this piece will come right out. Now we'll go to the other side and do the exact same thing. So once again, just pull out this little molding weather stripping. Now then we got the two up there. We got those two and a bottom one. Okay, so if we check, we have a T30 right here. And then we have another T30 right down.
Then we have another T30 right here. Then the final one will be a T20. So T20, T30, T20, T30, and then T20. You'll have three T20s and two T30s. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this out. one go ahead and get this one out two switch to our t30 three Four. And then switch back to your T20. And we'll grab this last one here. So I'm just going to put all my bolts in this row and just keep it all together. You can also use a magnetic tray. Okay, so now we're just going to pry this. There we go. Pull this right out. Okay, so if you look right here, there's a Velcro strap. I just got to take that off. There we go, just like that. Okay, starting from the top, we have one right here. This little strap goes to, we're going to take that off. And we'll come down here. We got this one to take off. And yours might have a third one right down here to take off right in this area. Mine does not. I'm pretty sure it went right there and they didn't put it on. Okay, so this one up here is a T15. Okay, so this one right here is rusted out and wallered out from whoever did this. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do there. And then they have rivets right here on this one. And right, right here, they have a rivet upside down. It's hard to see, but it's right there. So the main thing of it is just look around for these, these straps right here, find out where they're fastened and unfasten them. So I had to wind up drilling it and putting this little extractor in it to take it out. Okay, so now we need to take this off. All you're gonna do is reach in here and pull up. That'll come off just like that. Okay, so now if we look in here, we got a clip there, clip over here. There's supposed to be one over there, but it's not on anything. So we're just gonna pop it out. There's one more clip down there at the bottom. So just pop it off just like that. Okay, so coming inside, if we look back here on the back of this one. You don't gotta take this out. You just gotta wiggle this off. Okay, as you can see, we still got two more right there holding this on. There's a little bracket. Come in. If we look up there, it's another two rivets. Okay, now we got that out. Okay, so coming in from here, this is gonna be hard to show, but if you pull this back, there's two there's two T30s back there. So once again, just come right in and peel this back and you'll see it. 
Okay, now we're just gonna go and do the exact same thing over here on the driver's side. Okay, you should have two rivets. The first one would be right here, right there. Then your second one is right there. This car, they only put one in. Okay, so I did get it out. I just took a drill, eighth inch drill bit and drilled out the rivet. These rivets should be eighth inch by half inch. So now we can just pull this right off. Go right along this headliner. Just pull it up. We'll just keep pulling it up. There we go. Now we're gonna pull this up just a little bit more. All right, now that we got this up, we're gonna lower the hood a little bit. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. Pull this up. If this tape starts to come with it, push it back down. Slowly pull it off. Go to the other side now. Okay, we're just gonna keep doing that on this side. Like I said, the main thing here is to make sure this tape doesn't come up and stick to the roof. Okay, now there's six bolts. One, two, three, four, and then five, six. Okay, so these are T20. That's something to be aware of. This very front one, and it's only going to be this one, has a smaller bolt. So if we line those up, it's smaller. So remember, the smaller one goes towards your windshield. So just two more to go. Okay, now that you've gotten all these out, just lift it up and it'll come right out. Okay, so now would be a good time to get you some kind of material to put here to keep it from scratching. Same on the trunk and on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna open up the top to give us a little bit more room. Okay, now then we're gonna take a pry bar, go in here and pull all of this out. All right, see, we almost got it up. Scoot it forward. Okay, so time for a little extra leverage. Once it starts coming, it gets a lot easier. We'll just pull this up. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we'll take our pry bar. go believe it or not we're actually almost halfway there after we get these out right here we'll almost be ready to take the top off so as you can see all these staples someone put a screw right there so we'll put that back eventually but these staples right here we'll just take a die cutter like this little snippers You don't want to cut them like I just did. You want to try to work them out, pull them all the way out. 
Okay, so we'll just go ahead and take this one out. We can pretty much just pull it out from here. We're not going to reuse this top. Any staples that get left behind will also pull out. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way around and then just come back and pull out your staples. Okay, so I want to note that once you get so far, if you raise this up, you will see right in here, there's this thing. This is supposed to be held on by a spring that will be down there. Now, this don't have a spring. I don't know if it's because it's you know, a cheaper model Mustang compared to the GTs. And that's why these screws were there. They were holding it in place with these screws. That keeps tension on this whole thing right here. So water and stuff can't get in. So like if I pull it, I can feel it getting tighter. Just something to note. Real quick, over here on the passenger side, add this. I will take out and put in a new one. It went right down here and popped in. It's hard to see it, but you'll see it when you do it. Okay, now for the heated glass. You'll see it goes right there. Comes up. Comes in right here. It just push down right here on this top. Push down, pull out. Same thing on this side. Just go up, come around. So you don't press on the back, but you'll press right here. You'll feel it, it'll be able to be pressed down. So you press it down right there, and pull out. There we go. Now if yours comes with springs on both sides, you wanna take it off and thread it through with this. You'll just push it through here. But we'll go up to the front and pull this out now. So here it is up front, be right here. All we're going to do is pull it out. If yours got that spring, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but it'll still pull out. And there we go. Now, as you can see, we can start to move this around better. Let's do that on the other side. Now for me, this side, my passenger side did not come with it. So if yours don't come with it, don't worry about it. But if yours did, go ahead and run that up through there. If we look here, you can actually see where those were going through earlier and, you know, down there. It's to hold this down. So we're going to get right here and the, now the best thing to do with this is just cut it real quick with a razor. Okay, so all we're going to do here is take our razor and cut right along here. Okay, just finish along there. Okay, once you got it all the way, I have one more to do. Now then we just gotta cut this off right here. Now just go ahead and finish along here. Okay, now that we have that cut off, we can actually just go ahead and take our whole top off. Okay, so now we'll be able to just pull it right out. Okay, so the reason we cut these is one, to get the top off and give us a lot more room, but two, it's easier just to pull it on out and let it come out from underneath here. It'll slide in this channel. And see it comes out right here. And we just keep pulling. That's a lot easier than trying to fight it to get it out of there. Now we'll do the same thing on this back one. Just grab it and pull. Make sure it goes underneath. And once you get it out to here, just grab it, pull it on out. Now we are officially halfway there. All that's left to do is install it. Okay, we're gonna put the new top on. Love that new smell. So we'll go ahead and pull it all the way up to the front.
one thing to note you'll see a chalk line it may be white gray or yellow usually this you want to match this up with the top of this we'll do that here in just a few we're going to work up here at the top it right now okay so you want to get to this cloth piece that has this right here as you can see it almost looks like an arrow and those will go into these joints right here this has a full piece right here this one will have a full piece this will have two halves okay you want to make sure there's no binding so you want to be able to pull it back and forth if it slides you're good to go okay so finally all we got to do is this last one this has got to go back in this channel right here it gets stretched over time hold on if you get lucky like i did it'll actually go right back in place but a lot of times this will actually stretch over time and it won't want to come back in if that's the case you can use screws right here very small and you want to go at an angle just to hold it there finally this last channel right here will just come over just come over and pop right in okay you want to make sure you got that nice and secure we'll put this right back up here line it up go ahead and get our bolt started Okay, I already ran this one down. And remember, this one is smaller than all of the rest. Don't forget to get these last two. All right, go ahead and hook up your heated glass while you got a chance. Okay, you can see where the middle is on this little piece. And also they'll give you a little indicator, it ain't much. Right there, you can tell that's where the middle of this is. So we gotta line it up and then staple it. When stapling, you wanna use 3 8 stainless steel staples. Make sure they're stainless steel. Go ahead and double check that you're at the right spot. Which I am. Line it up. I suggest going ahead and putting about five or six of them in there. Okay, you wanna take this strap right here and go underneath this guy. Try to keep it straight. We'll take and we'll just put it down here. There we go. Do that to the other side as well. Go ahead and hit the corner. And then we'll go over here and hit this. Once again, you want to put about five or so staples on this side. I got a screw for that tensioner. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, you want to line up this end here, all the way up there. Okay, once you got it all stapled up, we're just gonna put it back in just like how we had it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let down the roof just a smidge to give us a little bit better room. Just 
stuff it back in there. Okay, we got it all the way back in. Okay guys, once you get it to this point, don't forget to get those two that were right back there, underneath all that. And the rest is just reassembly, the way you took it apart. It's no different. So just put the screws back where you saw them. If you need to, watch the video again and just go in reverse. But I have to end it here because I have to get this done I'm running out of time. Okay, sorry about that. The rain was about to come in, so I really had to bear down and get the work done. That way it wouldn't get rain in it. But from there, it's just reverse order. It was very simple to put it all back together at that point. Now let's go take a look at the final results. I'm actually very happy with how well this turned out. The only thing that you should be aware of is whenever you first have to close the convertible top all the way, it will be extremely tight. You will have to use a lot of muscle to put it down in there and lock it. But once you got it in there and locked, let it sit for a day or two, it'll stretch out and it'll become a lot easier to do. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.